Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 7 of... Skyrim Special Edition, and we are going into the barrel. So we have, we took out the guys in the, out, I mean outside. Okay, we took out the guards that were outside. I think this leads up. Ooh, nice. Potion of minor healing. Scroll of Mass Paralysis. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember how... I think... I think this is like their... Watchtower. And uh, we just continue up the... This area. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how do we have stronger spells or is it just the spells are just the same but uh, But we have to buy stronger spells like the next spell up would be uh, I think fireball Now that's a range range attack this one what we have They're like touch distance Bleak Falls Barrow Discovered. So this is the typical introduction to the dungeon in this game. So there will be more dungeons like this. You know, maybe we should have our archery up. Uh huh. Oh, we don't have that much arrows, so I think we'll just have to use our fire. Your draws near. Oh no! We yeah. have. We should have, jeez, we should have this. Wow, okay, uh, let us do healing. Yeah. Who's shooting us? Whoa, okay. <laughs> we took some damage, that's okay. And also, uh, all the shooting around, uh, arrows are left on the ground. So we can 
if we want to go and collect them we can but the thing is we don't know like they were shooting at each other here and we can actually spot some arrows on the ground so they do not disappear so like that so yeah like arrows like those Okay, so we encountered... Oh, another arrow here. So we encountered three bandits outside. And that's why... Oh, another arrow here. So our problem is we don't have any range attack. Now once we get our... Our arrows, our archery up. Then, and our sneak up. We can do... Pretty good damage. Because, because uh, I think we there is a skill that allows us to have triple damage. Okay, I guess it's always a good idea to save. Because if we suddenly encounter one a tough guy, a really tough mini boss. That's why if we have an arrow here, we're pretty good in our archery. We could be shooting this guy from behind. We got them both? Wow, we got them both. Got them both. <laughs> Let's not pick the items first. Uh, so we can pick them up on the way out. The tails are also a component as part of a component for Okay, we can practice our uh, Let's not pick those uh, just this one Those are heavy stuff we can actually temporarily put all the stuff in here. No, 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 no. That one. That one. That one. That one. And then the items also.
Oh, nice. And I think we need a hatchet. This hatchet, we want this hatchet because that allows us to chop wood. And like I said, uh, we uh, the chopping of wood, uh, when we are short on money, we can actually do some wood chopping. And earn a little gold. Not much, but a little gold. But it's still better than nothing. Well, probably the natural enemies here were the skeevers. Okay, we need to drop these things off. Longbow is 7 damage. How about hunting bow? Ooh, 8 damage. Damage, okay. And the apparel side for armor, for armor. Hide boots. We don't need this for now. Studded armor. Okay, again, gonna go save the game. I'm a firm believer in saves. So this is our introduction to a, lab, uh, a dungeon crawl. Okay. Always check the side tunnels. Sometimes there's some good stuff going on. Is that a bow? Oh, I thought that was a bow. So linen wraps, no, they're just wait. These things we want, yeah, that, those things we want. Potions. Linen wrap, no, they are... The value they give us is not very much compared to the weight they uh, represent. So he actually tried to operate that one and he got killed. Yep, apparently he got killed. He tried to operate that one. So we have to solve the puzzle and the puzzle is represented by those things. And those puzzles, so we have, it shows us a, a whale, a serpent. A whale and a serpent. And we need to mani manipulate these 
and then another serpent. So, so is that serpent, serpent, whale? I don't know. Uh, so we have to manipulate this. Serpent. Serpent. And then there's got to be a whale. Right? Serpent. So that serpent up there and a whale and then a serpent down here. Let's see if... Hold on. Let's stand up here. Oh, we got it right. So if we got it wrong... Had we got it wrong, we would have been like this guy. We would have, we would have been shot full of arrows. Oh, that's a... Oh, soul stones. Soul gems. And what's this? Thief. Oh, this would... This is... This, this is a skill book. Pickpocket. Nice. And sometimes these are uh, are trapped, and usually it makes sense to look at it from the side or the top. And because if they're trapped, yeah, they will automatic petty soul gem. Oh, it has it. It's not an empty one, so we can we use we need those to fuel enchantments. What is this for? Okay. So that nobody else can follow us downstairs. We still haven't found the uh, the golden claw. this weak paralysis scroll of fireball i wish that was a tomb of fireball and then we need a book of fireball then we can cast stronger spells assuming we can't afford it because they cost a lot of mana to produce also or to cast This is not good. I think we will be encountering a uh, spider here. Somebody is stuck up here by the spider. Help. Help. Don't 
Yep. Let him down. <laughs> you did it. You killed him. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down, and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Help me out of here! It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? <laughs> yeah, let we'll let him go ahead and then uh again take our time. There's no need to rush. Oh. Common soul gems. Empty burial ones. Okay. Linen wrap. Empty. <coughs> so this uh, dungeons have a dungeons usually have traps and they are like not the very. Place. They're not very hard to miss. So these droggers, when we can search them, that means they're dead. But if they're like that and we try to search them, we cannot. That means they're, they are alive. I think that thing is alive right there. And you know what? Let's change our weapons. Uh, the longbow does seven points of damage. I thought we have a hunting bow. A hunting bow does eight points of damage. Okay, let us equip that. Okay, there's another drogger just uh So that means that was a critical hit. A sneak attack. And this other drogger Wow, this is 18 to weight. 
And so again, so our first, oh that, so he got himself killed because he walked on that. That's why there are traps all over here. Okay, we just woke somebody else. Ancient sword. Ah, oh, that's twelve weight. Okay. Hold on. Let us. Oh, we we pick this one right. Yeah. Let us. I think it. Sh we should do our ancient. Is our hunting bow favorite also? Yeah. Hunting bow, yes. Okay, and then so let's go to flames. No healing. No here. Uh, okay, I guess our timer just went off, so this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.